Hi folks, how are you doing? This is going to be one of two final videos, I think, to wrap up the year. It's all going to be one little project, um, but I'm going to split it into two parts. We're going to start out by creating a nice little low-poly spaceship um, and texturing it. And in the next one, we're going to get it flying through space with a camera following behind it and render the whole thing out as a movie. So that's the intention. Um, I'm going to do one today, and I'll probably do one again more than likely next weekend uh, to round it out, uh, to see us into summertime. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, start creating our spaceship. So uh, I've got a blender open here, and I seem to have deleted my uh, default cube. Already I was going to get my screencast keys on. So let's let me add back in uh, a cube and hit tab for edit mode and let's start shaping this thing. First thing I want to do is put a mirror on it. So I'm going to do a control R and put a loop cut there around and just right click to leave it in the center. I'm going to put x-ray mode on here, up here. And I want to just box select all of those vertexes on that side and X and delete vertexes just to take away that half of the cube, sort of like we've done loads of times already. And then I'll pop over here to the modifier panel, and I'm going to add in a mirror modifier. All right, classic stuff that we've done a million times. I'm going to knock uh, X-ray off again for the moment. OK. All right, so let's start, start shaping this thing up to look more like a spaceship. So for starters, I'm going to make it longer in Y. So I'm just going to hit A to select everything, and S, Y to scale and Y. Let's just stretch that out a bit, like that. That'll do for starters. Now let's try and shape it a bit more. I'd like it, it's very boxy at the moment. So I'm just going to make it a little bit more rounded overall. So I'm going to do a Control R. I'm going to do another loop cut there across that center like that. There we go. And just right click again to leave it in place. And I'm just going to S, X to scale and X and just bring it out a little bit. Oops, sorry, hang on. I don't want it to do that. Let me just see that. show that again. See where it's just, see where it's pushing across? Let me just do that and I'll undo it. See how it pushed across in here? Because I didn't have clipping on in my mirror modifier. So let me undo that and hit clipping. And now let's scale and X again. That's nice. And now this stays in position at the center, which is what I want. All right, nice. And similarly, I'm just going to take this, go into edge select mode. So I'm hitting number two, or you can select the button up here. I'm going to select this one up here, and I'm just going to select, click, and select that one down there as well. And again, I'm going to scale in Z just to push those two up and down respectively. Okay, and now we have a more kind of rounded um, bar-like shape for our for our body of our spaceship, which looks nicer. All right, let's take this bit at the front here and extrude it forward to make a cone-shaped pointy bit at the front that's going to represent the nose of the uh, spaceship. So I'm going to go to face select mode 3, or again, you can click up here, and just click, and then shift-click to select both of those faces. And then I'm just going to E to extrude, and just come out away from about that far. And then I'm going to S to start scaling that down till it's quite small. All right, so it's got into a bit of a, a wedge shape at the front. So it's much narrower in Z than it is in X. So I might just scale X a bit as well just to bring that in a little bit more. All right, that's looking pretty good. And maybe I'll just G and Y to move it in Y a little bit further forward again. Was sort of looked a little bit short to me. Okay, cool. All right, that's the start of our kind of basic shape. Now, I want to put a bit of a, a cockpit in here, raised up above the body. So I'm going to do a control or again, for another loop cut. And I'm going to slide, click to confirm and slide that loop cut up to about there. And again, left click to confirm. So I've created a loop cut now some way back from here. So let's again face select mode, and I'm going to select that face there, and I want to extrude it in Z. So E, Z, just push it up a bit like that. Okay, and this is our cockpit, but 
obviously this is very big up here so let's just hit s and scale that back in a bit okay that's looking not bad kind of like that might just take this and move it back a bit so i'm going to go g to move and y to move and y i'm just going to move that back a little bit like that so it's more sloped at the front and a bit more straight at the back cool i don't think it would hurt if we pulled this front bit down a bit and this back one back a bit so that these that sloped like that and that sloped like that at the front so i'm going to go into vertex select mode and i'm just going to slide this edge so i'm just going to hit g twice g g and then i'm just going to slide that along like that a little bit see it slides along the edge and again i'm going to select that one again and again i'm just going to go g g to slide it and just slide that back a bit all right, I like that shape. That looks nice. Cool. All right. Now let's do something about the back. I want to have a fin coming up from the back like that and two coming out from either side like this. Well, we're mirrored, so we only have to do one coming out this side and we'll get this one for nothing. So let's create another loop cut around the back here to start building these fins. So again, control R. And uh, just make sure it's where I want it to be. Control R. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. And I'll just slide that towards the back. All right. And that's good, yeah. Put that far back. Now, one thing, because I slid this vertex here, this one is a little bit further back than this one. And I'd rather they were in a line. So it doesn't have to be, but I'm going to just select that one at the top. And just GG again to slide it, and I'm just going to slide it till it's more straight in line with the rest of these. It just means that these fins will be closer to the same size, which I'd like. Okay, let's create something that we can start to build these fins off of. So let's go into face select mode, or hit three, and let's select that face there, and let's extrude it. I'm just going to go to the end view, maybe. Just extrude it just a little, little bit, not much, just so it comes up a little bit like that. All right, cool. Now, let's go to edge select mode here. Let's select that edge there on the outside, and we're going to slide that edge all the way in so we just have a narrow little bit at the top here. So I'm going to use edge slide, GG, and I'm just going to slide that edge all the way back up there until it's quite just a, a fairly narrow dog dog and a cat having a disagreement behind me until it, that's a fairly narrow little face there now at the top that we can use to extrude the fin from I'm going to go back to the end view here and I'm just going to G Z just to move that edge up and just flatten it across the top it's not important that you do but I just like that's neater okay so now that's that little surface is flat that looks good to me all right that's that's one spot so let's start let's make our let's make our first fin so i'm going to select that little edge and i'm going to e and z to extrude and z and let's just bring it up about that much cool all right we'll shape it a bit more in a minute but that's not too bad okay now let's come down again face select mode let's select this face here the one coming off the bottom and again let's go to the end view let's just extrude just a little bit out from that just a small small bit <sighs> and we've got that panel now we want to scale that back in every direction but why we don't want it to get it any narrower this way but we do want it to get narrower in the other two directions so let's hit s to scale and shift y to scale and everything except y and now let's just scale that in again till it's nice and narrow a bit like the top one okay not not too bad all right, and now let's E to extrude from there, and let's come out with our little wing from that one as well. Cool, I like that, all right. Keeping that face selected, shift and click on this top one as well, so that both of those two are selected. And now let's just do G to move and Y to move along Y, and let's just tilt them back a bit, to give them an angle. All right, I like it. That looks pretty good.
pretty good. Okay. We've got this little lip here, which I'm not crazy about. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take vertex select mode. So one or click the button. And I'm just going to slide that vertex forward a bit along this edge. GG. Just to smooth that lip out there. That's going to look better. Okay, cool. That's just going to make the shape of it look nicer. Okay. Now, we're not going to see this until we start texture painting, but I would also like a separate kind of area for the nose here. Actually, I wonder if that nose could come down even more. I know, it's fine. I'm going to do another Control R and just create a loop cut at the front there, which is going to become our nose cone. And again, that one has just slid forward more than I'd like. So I'm just going to select that one vertex, that one that's out of line, and just GG, just till it's kind of more in line with the rest of those so they form a straight line up. Okay, cool. I like that. Now, let's have a look. A few more little details I'd like to put in here. Just one or two. The top of this is looking very heavy. So we're going to want to scale that a bit. So let's go face select mode. Pick that one there. And just SX to scale it in X. And then just scale it in a bit so it's narrow. Just don't let it collapse completely. But just make it narrower. Uh, so it looks similar to these two. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see if I can. I'd like to extrude something else. Let me try something. We'll see if it works. I'm going to select both of those at the same time. The top of that fin and the top of this one. And I'm just going to hit E. Now, I wonder if it... Sorry, I'm trying something now. If I hit individual origins, will it work? E. Yeah, that actually did work. So we just want to come out a little bit like that. So just create that little little bit extra on the end of the wings like that. So I had to hit individual origins up here so that they came off of their own origins and not a common origin. All right, that looks not too bad. Uh, so here's a little, this one's a little bit trickier now, but let's go. We're going to select some faces. So we're going to select the face just on the end of that little piece at the end of the wing and the one on the other side. So I want those two selected. And same thing here, we're going to select that one and we're going to select that one. All right, cool. So now we want to hit E to extrude and just confirm with left click. And now scale Y. Oh, again, switch individual origins off now. Binding back to bounding box. Scale Y. There we go. And that's a nice little, a nice little bit of detail on the end of those wings. I hope that made sense. I just took the little faces on the ends here, each of them. I extruded it but didn't move them. Left them in place. And then when I scaled them in Y, they just pushed away from where they were along the y-axis and gave us those nice little kind of bits at the end of the wing, little nice little bits of detail at the ends of the wing. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm going to try, I wonder, one more thing. This might not work. Again, I'm sorry now, I'm riffing a little bit. Let's go to vertex select mode and x-ray mode. I just maybe, I wonder if the back of this would look better if it was all a little bit skinnier. So I'm just select box selecting everything at the back there. And I'm just going to try this. And if I don't like it, I'll undo it. Scale X, just scale it in X. No, that's, that's not, that's not going to work. All right, never mind that. Forget, forget about it. I like how it looks anyway. I just thought I'd try something out. Okay. Edge select mode. Select that edge there across the back. Oh, actually, no, before we do that, let's hit three face select let's select this face this one this one and don't forget that little skinny oh not that one but this little this little one here as well so all of those little faces that are on the back here and let's just extrude in y e y just to pull them back a little bit and then s to scale them in a bit 
that's just going to make the back of that ship look better just to put that little shape on it like that okay cool now let's go to edge select mode and pick that edge across there and we want to set the cursor here we're going to put in an engine a cylinder for an engine output so let's hit shift s and then say cursor to select it and it'll move the cursor to the middle of that edge which is great all right now we're going to want to switch clipping off here uh, before we do this because when we put the cylinder in it's going to cross the center line and it's going to start to mirror in a weird way when we start to make it smaller i just wanted to fit inside there and if we left clipping on everything that had crossed the line when we created the cylinder would stay stuck to the line which we don't want so i'm just going to knock clipping off for for now and i'm going to add a cylinder all right it's obviously in the rock the angles wrong so first thing is we want to rotate it 90 degrees around the red x-axis so or x 90 okay that's flipped it into the right orientation and now let's scale it s until it just fits nicely on the back of the spaceship like that cool and then we'll just hit uh, go to face select mode just select that that face there and we're going to i to inset a little bit and then we're going to extrude in y e y and just push back if i push too far see where it kind of flips there see where the color changes that's where you can see it's pushing through that back of the spaceship so we want to just stop before it goes through the back of the spaceship so just about there is good now that's looking nice so that's our little spaceship modeled so now we can move on to texture painting it so let's do that first thing we need to do though before we can paint it is we've got to uv unwrap it so let's go over first actually let's come back into object mode let's call it spaceship that's no harm spaceship all right and let's scroll down here to the materials panel and create a new material for this and we'll call that spaceship as well cool and we're going to make this base color an image texture and we're going to make a new image you wouldn't believe what we're going to call this spaceship as well okay so that's going to be a new image base called spaceship that's going to be our texture for this guy all right let's go to uv editing let's uh, zoom back here a bit let's select all over here and let's just you let it do it for us automatically so smart uv project and hit okay and it's just mapped it all out here automatically to the uh to the texture and that's that mapping is fine so i'm just going to that's all we're not going to do any more with that it's fine we're not going to be hand we're going to be hand painting it sort of but in a way that we're not just going to be randomly spraying on top of it we're going to be kind of carefully filling colors with tech areas with color so we don't have to worry about separating these islands out from each other like we might have done before it'll be fine so i'm going to pop over to texture paint mode and the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to take the, the eyedropper to the fill tool here rather and i'm going to right click and i'm going to pick that that white color is already picked that's fine and i'm just going to click just to turn the whole thing white that's it so that's our going to be our base color is white actually come over here to the material and just bump the metallic up quite high maybe 0.7 or something sorry now that's hard to see because it's under me so bump the metallic up here let's switch this to um to viewport shading so we can start to see the effect so the metallic quite high and the roughness down maybe 0.2 or so so we can have it quite shiny looking all right it's going to look metally um so seven i've 0.74 something like that 0.2 there approximately for the metallic and the roughness the specular is grand probably where it is 
um, point four. I have it now. We'll, we can look at that later, maybe, and decide. Okay, so we're currently in texture paint mode, but we can choose to just paint specific areas by selecting them in edit mode and then telling the texture paint mode we only want to paint the bits that have been selected. So let's pop over to edit mode here and we're going to selectively pick, first of all, the nose cone. So again, face select mode. So the nose cone, don't forget the one on the bottom, and all of these faces that make up the cockpit. Just those ones. So those ones at the front, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four. So 10 in total. All right, so just make up that those bits. We're going to make these bits black. Um, actually, we might, while we're at it, make the back of the spaceship black as well. No, I'll do it in two. I'll do that in two lots. Um, so let's go back to texture texture paint mode. And this button here, paint mask, means only the bits we've selected. You can actually see they've now turned a slightly darker color, but it's subtle. Our, the painting is only going to affect those bits. And you can see here's the in the UV, you can see those bits are selected only. So I'm going to go to the fill tool. I'm going to right click. I'm going to bring this down so it's black. And I'm going to fill, click to fill. And you can see the paint has gone exactly just where I wanted it and nowhere else. All right, so that's cool. Okay, not exactly nowhere else. <laughs> There's a bit of bleeding. There's been a little bit of ble bleeding there. So a little bit of black paint from one of these has actually just smudged the side a little bit, uh, which I don't want. So perhaps I will go back. Let me just undo that so, and just go back to UV editing and select everything here again. Uh, and on the UV islands, just going to say pack islands. Sorry, you have to select all A and then UV pack islands and then just set this value to something like 0.1. And just we'll just separate them out from each other. That's that's going to prevent that bit of color leaking from one into another, which we had a minute ago. All right, back to texture paint and back to edit mode and again let's just select those bits we want to paint now two three four five six seven eight okay i miscounted because i know that's ten <laughs> texture paint anyway it's, it doesn't matter if so fill and let's click and now we've got no there's no bit of little bit of black bleeding in there like it did the last time so now we've got a this very dark nose cone and very dark cockpit. Now let's go back into edit mode. Select any bit of the engine and then just L to select linked. And then go back into texture paint mode. And again, we should still have that black brush selected. So just click again to fill. And we'll get that whole bit painted. All right, cool back into edit mode. Now we're going to paint the bottom half of the ship a darker color and that back panel. I'm going to choose a darker gray color for that. So again, let's let's select those faces around the wing there as well. And we won't forget that little, just a little tiny, tiny face that's there, but it's still important. And then I'm going to select those all the way up to halfway, and then I'm going to select this entire flat back bit as well. I'm going to put those all to a gray color. So again, back to texture paint mode, and let's right click and just change our color up to a gray instead of black. And again, let's just click and fill. Maybe that's a bit darker than I wanted actually. So maybe just right clicking and I might just bring that up a bit more. I'll just do control Z and clicking in. Yeah, that's that's more what I wanted. I didn't want it too too heavy. I wanted the black to contrast with it, but I didn't want it to be too too extreme. Okay. Now let us now 
paint the little wings, little wing tips. So let's go back to edit mode. I'm going to try a trick here to make this selection easier. So face select mode, just select that one at the top of the wing in the center. And then shift and click on that one as well. So you've got that center one at the end of each wing selected. Then go up to select and say select more. Um, select more. And that's now selected all of those that were next to the so the first ones we'd selected. And if we say select more again, it's now got a bit more. This is easier if you have a numpad, control numpad. I'll just do the num keystroke this time. And select more one more time. I selected the whole, the whole wing. So sometimes that's really handy way to quickly grab complicated geometry um, rather than ha clicking select all the time you can use select more to just grab another bit and another bit and another bit until you have enough of what you're looking for selected so back to texture paint mode and this time we're going to get a bit of color in there so i'm going to take a a nice dark red i think and again i'm just going to use the fill tool to fill those in all right so that is our first bit of texture painting done. All right, so it looks not bad, but uh, let's go back over here. Let's go into uh, actual render uh, preview mode, and then let's right click on this and let's choose Shade Smooth. Let's have a look. That looks pretty good, I think. I'm happy with that. But there's one more thing we'd like to have. These engines, we would really like to have them glowing proper glowing engine so what do we need to do for that okay well let's make ourselves a new material here so i'm going to hit plus here to make a new material slot and new here to create a new material and we'll call it engine all right let's go over to the shading tab now it's made a standard material here with uh, our normal shader which is the principled bsdf we don't normally think about it too much it's just always there but we don't want that. Let's take that and get rid of it. We want instead to add an emission shader in here. And let's drag that emission shader into surface. All right, now still we don't see anything because nothing is assigned to this material yet. So let's hit tab to enter edit mode on our model, face select, and select that face inside the engine, that one there. And let's go to our material here, select engine, and assign it so that now that face is assigned this emission texture. And then all we've got to do is just make it glow by increasing this value. So I don't know what a good value is, but probably not too high. Let's try something like 12 and put it to render. All right, so that's our little glowing engines and our little spaceship done. So next time we're going to take this little spaceship and we're going to make it fly and we're going to follow along behind, have a camera following along behind it as it flies through space. Uh, so let's, let's uh, hopefully get to, to do that. So you'll need to have this little model built, of course, uh, before you do the second part. So if, um, I'll remind you in the second video to come back and do this one if you haven't already done it. Okay, thanks, folks. I hope that was a bit of fun, and uh, I'll see you off for the next one. Cheers.